day a lot more. Warmer days mean the garden is coming alive, and people around Eugene and Springfield are loading up on compost to wake up their own garden beds. This is enough now for the year? This is enough for a day. <laughs> for today. We have some self-serve bins, so you don't have to have the big pickup truck to come in and get a load, but if you do need a big load, we can uh, deliver as well. If you've got your eye on some potato planting, burying them is easy enough, but you can build your own potato tower without much hassle. The idea is that the potatoes will grow vertically rather than spreading out, saving you space in your plot. The first thing you'll need is some wire fencing. Using a wire cutter, I cut a sheet about four feet long and coil it shut with zip ties. Next, you can place straw around the inside edges to hold in moisture. Then you can toss in one or two potatoes on the bottom. Next, I'm throwing in a few scoops of the mixed Veggie Boost compost. But Campbell says the nature's best compost you'll find at Lane Forest Products works just as well. It's kind of a little bit of a sandier soil, but it works perfect for potatoes uh, and again, the onions, things like that, that do want to lose pretty well draining soil. As you keep adding more and more compost to your tower, watering will become an issue. That's why I've added some PVC pipe with holes drilled in it that will allow you to water all the way to the root. One of the most attractive features of the potato tower is that it requires almost no digging. Once your potatoes are done growing, you can simply pick up the tower and shake the potatoes out of the bottom. In the garden, I'm Joel Porter for News Source 16.